when I was around 16 and it was the first time I went to the dentist without my mum um, because I was 16 and she, she was working and I went with my big brother and we both needed a fill in. Um, so the dentist took my brother in first and he gave him the injection to numb him and then it was my turn to go in to get numbed and then we both went back in together and I sat at the side and when he drilled my brother, my brother hit the roof and he's like, I'm not numb, I'm not numb. So the dentist said, I'm really, really sorry, I'll do some more. So he gave him a bit more and then he went, come on, you get on the bed while he, he, he numbs up. And the exact same thing happened to me. And he turned around and said to me, well, you're just being dramatic. And I'm like, I'm really not, it hurts, I can feel it, I'm not numbing off. And he said, well, I've started to drill now, I need to finish. I said, I'm very sorry, but you're not. And I left. And my brother's running down, it was Churchill way. My brother was running down Churchill way after me saying, you can't just leave. And I'm like, it wasn't numb. I'm in agony. Um, eventually, years later, I actually lost that tooth, obviously, because it had a hole in it. It started oh. to drill. Um, and that put me off going to the dentist for a long, long time. And unless I was in absolute agony, I wouldn't go. Um, and... I only started to go back because when I was pregnant with my son, who's almost nine, um, when I went to antenatal, there was a lady there from the NHS that was saying we can sign pregnant ladies up to any dentist they want. So I chose a dentist that I was really sort of happy with. And um, I didn't want my fear of the dentist to pass over to my son as well. So yeah, we do go for regular checkups. He's got fantastic teeth. I always say I love my dentist and if he ever retired or left, then I probably wouldn't find another that I would be happy with just really kind and he, he understands fear you know that, yeah. that I, I have a fear um, when me and my son go together I have to be really brave and go oh come on it's, we're off to the dentist mm -hmm. you know to try and not but it's even been in the past even if I've needed a fill in it's had to sedate me because it really scares me now that that much it is a genuine fear it's... yeah it took me a long time to get confidence back again I mean I think sort of throughout my 20s is when I had to be sedated when I got pregnant with my son I actually had a really bad tooth um, and I wasn't registered at this point. I'd literally, I was literally just pregnant and I wasn't registered at a dentist. Um, and I had to go to a private dentist in Worsley and pay a lot of money for him just to pull my tooth out. Um, and it was awful. Mm. My friend took me and she was sat crying with me because I was in that much of a panic and everything. I couldn't take anything for it, obviously, because I was pregnant. So it was yeah. awful. Um, and then it sort of, when this lady approached me at Antinale and yeah. said, oh, we can sign you up. I was like, all right, I know where I want to go.